This ordinary medication may be the first to treat hand osteoarthritis effectively. Hey there YouTube family! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some groundbreaking news to share that might just change the game for those dealing with hand osteoarthritis. You know, that ordinary medication you've probably seen sitting in your medicine cabinet? Well, buckle up, because it could be the key to effective treatment. Have you or someone you know been grappling with hand osteoarthritis, searching for that breakthrough solution? Well, stick around, because in this video, we're diving deep into a potential game-changer. We're unpacking the research, exploring the science, and giving you the lowdown on how this ordinary medication might be the first to treat hand osteoarthritis like never before. We're on a mission to bring you the latest in medical discoveries, and this one is especially exciting. So, grab your favorite snack, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into the world of groundbreaking advancements in hand osteoarthritis treatment. This is a video you won't want to miss. This ordinary medication may be the first to treat hand osteoarthritis effectively. Osteoarthritis, OA, of the hands is a painful and incapacitating joint disease that can significantly impair a person's capacity to do daily tasks including dressing and eating. By the time they are 85 years old, almost half of women and 25% of men will have symptoms of hand OA. Although there are various therapies for hand OA, they are few and frequently ineffective. Methotrexate, a drug presently used to treat psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis raw, may also help lessen hand OA symptoms like pain and stiffness, according to a small new study. Study author Flavia Sicatini, Ph.D., a professor and the head of the musculoskeletal unit at Monash University and the rheumatology department at Alfred Hospital, both in Melbourne, Australia, stated, at the moment, if a person goes to the doctor with hand OA, treatments are very limited and do not work well. Patients are frequently told there is little that doctors can do for them. According to her team's findings, methotrexate may have a function in treating inflammation and hand osteoarthritis, and doctors should think about using it as a safe therapy option. How well did methotrexate work? There were 97 persons with hand OA in the research. X-rays and magnetic resonance imaging MRI, scans were used by the researchers to determine that the subjects had osteoarthritis and to look for signs of inflammation. 50 patients in the trial received a regular oral dose of 20 mg of methotrexate once a week, while the remaining 47 individuals received a placebo. For half a year, the patients were monitored by the researchers. Both the methotrexate and placebo group's participants' pain decreased within the first month of treatment. Sicatini did note that the methotrexate group continued to experience reduced discomfort over time, whereas the placebo group did not. At three months and even more so at six months, there was improvement in the methotrexate group, Sicatini stated. The methotrexate group experienced twice as much pain improvement over the course of the full six months as the control group. Sicatini anticipates that the study's findings may persuade medical professionals to think about writing methotrexate prescriptions for patients who have severe hand OA symptoms. How does hand osteoarthritis feel? Hand OA is prevalent, particularly in the elderly. According to Samantha Mulrad, MD, MS, head of hand surgery at Stony Brook Medicine in New York, Hand OA is caused by thinning of the smooth cartilage at the joint's interface, which can cause excruciating throbbing. According to her, a patient may experience pain, deformity, stiffness, and knobby knuckles. People may experience complete joint immobility as the disease worsens. The present treatments for osteoarthritis, according to Mulrad, who was not involved in the study, only address the disease's symptoms, none of them can halt or delay the disease's progression. Methotrexate did not appear to be any difference in the new trial. Recent research indicates that it may also alleviate hand pain sensations. The fact that methotrexate is often used to treat inflammatory arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis, rather than osteoarthritis, makes it interesting, according to Mulrad. We're beginning to see that it might work for that. Why is it tough to treat hand OA? 
According to Sicatini, one reason it has been difficult to identify effective treatments for OA is that, until recently, physicians were unaware of the condition's causes. We are taught that osteoarthritis is a degenerative condition that is not inflammatory and that treatments are limited in medical school and even in specialties like rheumatology, Sicatini added. Sicatini did point out that despite normal blood tests, persons with hand OA had inflammation, according to current study. Pain and serious joint damage are also linked to the inflammation. According to NYU Longoni health rheumatologist Jonathan Samuels, MD, one other reason why treating OA has been difficult is that, in contrast to other forms of arthritis, there are no disease-modifying therapies specifically intended for treating OA in the hands. Individual differences can also be significant when it comes to hand OA symptoms. Samuel stated that some people, for instance, won't have any pain at all, while others would experience so much that they can't even open a doorknob, use a pencil, or type on the keyboard without discomfort. Can't even open a doorknob, use a pencil, or type on the keyboard without discomfort. Not only do symptoms differ between patients, but they can also differ within a single patient. It can fluctuate in one single patient from time to time, so that's a challenge, according to Samuels. Can I get methotrexate for osteoarthritis right now? Methotrexate is not prescribed for osteoarthritis or hand OA, but some rheumatologists have been writing prescriptions for the medication off-label, or for purposes other than those for which the FDA has given it approval. Sicatini stated, We discovered in a survey we conducted prior to beginning our study that many rheumatologists were using methotrexate for hand OA because there was little else to offer patients. Patients should think about their symptoms, the course of their illness, and other health-related factors while discussing this option with their physician. As a hand surgeon, I would prefer to start with less oral medications and more cortisone injections, Mulrad stated. However, even if a patient is diagnosed with osteoarthritis, they may still be candidates and should discuss it with a rheumatologist, the author said. Additionally, according to Mulrad, there are some hazards that come with using methotrexate. These risks include less significant ones like liver toxicity and low blood count, as well as more major side effects like gastrointestinal problems, nausea, vomiting, and appetite loss. Although the study showed indicate that methotrexate may be beneficial for those with hand OA, further investigation is necessary to fully comprehend this link and determine whether FDA approval may be required. How to handle symptoms of osteoarthritis? Hand OA cannot be cured. Nonetheless, the following advice from professionals can help you manage the symptoms. To reduce pain, swelling, and inflammation, take aspirin and ibuprofen, or other topical and oral non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines NSAIDs. Put on splints or braces to provide your hands and fingers, especially the thumbs, structured assistance. For pain and swelling relief, consider oral medications or corticosteroid injections. To reduce pain, stiffness, and edema, apply warm or cold compresses. To improve your hand's range of motion, try some hand exercises including clenching your fist, bending your fingers slightly, laying your hand flat on a table, and lifting each finger off the surface one at a time. What you should take away from this. Although methotrexate is not FDA approved for this application, research has shown that it can be used off-label to aid with hand osteoarthritis symptoms. You should discuss this option with your provider to see whether it is a possibility for you. And there you have it, folks. The potential breakthrough we've all been waiting for in the realm of hand osteoarthritis treatment. Who would have thought that this ordinary medication, right under our noses, could hold the key to effective relief? We hope you found this information as exciting and promising as we did. If you learned something new or if this video sparked your interest, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from this game-changing news. Remember, staying informed is crucial, so if you want to stay updated on the latest medical breakthroughs and discoveries, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You won't want to miss out on future updates. Before we wrap up, we'd love to hear from you. 
Drop a comment below sharing your thoughts on this potential breakthrough or any experiences you've had with hand osteoarthritis. Your stories and insights could make a world of difference to someone watching. Thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration and discovery. We'll catch you in the next video, where we continue to unravel the mysteries of science and medicine. Until then, take care, stay curious, and be well.